Today I wanted to talk a little bit about intensive grazing, setting up paddocks. This field here, I believe, is roughly 10 acres. It goes down to the tree line there, and then over to the apple tree you see there. What I've done is I break this, this field down in paddocks, and this forces the cows to eat the grass in that paddocks a little bit more consistently and distribute the manure, which fertilizes better. Another thing it does is while they're in the paddocks is they'll beat down on some of the weeds that they don't eat, like the Joe Pie that you see sticking up, uh, the nettles, different things like that. So uh, what I wanted to do here is take you along while I set up a paddocks in which what I do is I use my ATV and I'll make three passes across the field to knock down the weeds where I'm going to insert the poly stakes. And you can see I've uh, started me a trail right across there now. I'm going to head back across this time installing the poly stakes and then I'll come back across with the wire and tie it on. Right now I have the, the juice shut off on the fence, which you can see I just cleared the fence line. This is a completely organic farm. We use no chemicals here, so it was mowing and weed eating to get the fence line cleared. Now that we're on the four-wheeler, I've got it set up to make it a little easier to set up these paddocks. Uh, I got my poly stake holder here. This holds them down. Um, these here actually can hold a reel or I can lay a small 50 gallon water trough across it because we have to move the water too. Uh, and it just makes it so much easier. So we're going to get started now. And we'll start with our first one here. And I do this all from the four wheeler. I don't even have to get off. It makes it quick and simple and when you move them a bunch, you want to keep it simple. This will help put weight on the cattle. Next one. Okay, we can see I've I've got my poly stakes running across the field there. Now we're going to go back and uh, tie on the poly string, and then we'll move the cattle into this paddocks. And you'll see that you spend this much time moving cattle. It's very simple to get the cattle to follow you. They're up there waiting on the hill for me now. So, uh, it'll only take a few minutes to get them moved. Okay, I like to wrap the poly wire around the fence wire three to four times, as you can see I did there. And then I've tied it off. So now we'll take the spool. As you can see, I have another area rigged up here for the spool. Stop at each one and loop it through the poly stake. So forth and so on till we get to the other side. And then again tying it on the other end. So now you can see, we made it across there, made three passes before setting up the poly stakes. The fourth pass would have been putting in the poly stakes. The fifth pass, put in the string. And that pretty well keeps the weeds off the fence. So everything stays nice and hot. Now we're gonna go up and get the boys and move them over. All steers, every one of them. So we'll get ready to move them. They look like they're ready to be moved and it's not very hard at all. So here we go. We're gonna go over here and untie this end of the poly string. And now I'm just going to uh, open up a section here. And then I'm going to let them know it's open. What I like to do is kind of get it all out of the way. And then I'll pull it tight. And wrap it around this stake. Trying to do this with the camera in hand is not real easy. 
as you can see here. So now we're gonna bring it to their attention that it's open. Boys, come on boys, come on boys. Come on boys, come on. Fresh grass boys, come on. And usually within about a minute, they're all over here. And we close it back up. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on, boys. Got four slow ones here. <clears throat> it's very low stress. I don't put any pressure on them to move the cattle. I basically just call them. There we go. They're out there in their new paddocks grazing. Now I'll leave them in this paddock probably for a day and a half. And they'll beat it down to make it look just like this. They eat what they can. Let me beat in what they don't. From which I can see I've got a small water leak here. So uh, as you can see, they were over here for two days. They ate what they could. They beat down what they didn't want. So. That's how we're going to do it. So I'll have to get all this moved now into the next paddocks and get it tied shut. Okay, got the water turned on. I got the sock moved and the mineral feeder moved. And at this point, they've made it across and they're heading back. I've seen to notice that, that they head down the paddocks, checking down each side, see about how big their area is grazing the whole way as you can see some of them's heading back happy cows happy cows all beef cattle of course well thanks for watching organic farming